evening, Sumter School District, and welcome to a special edition of Reading with the Superintendent. While we're on vacation, it's most important that we continue to engage our minds and participate in reading activities so that we can continue to learn and grow during this time. This evening, we'll begin with a very special book called Snowmen at Night. But before I do that, I need to introduce the person who's going to be reading with me. So good evening, Dr. McLeod. How are you? Good evening. Do you, do, so first, thank you for joining me, but do you have any words of encouragement or words for those who may be viewing us uh, this evening before we begin to read? Just read. The more you read, the better you get. The more you read, the more you grow. So I already told them we're going to be reading Snowman at Night. So have you seen a snowman at night, Dr. McLeod? You've never seen a snowman at night? It is a beautiful sight to see. Have you ever built a snowman? So maybe we need to find time to travel somewhere where it snows and we can work on building you and getting you some skills at building a snowman. So this evening's book is Snowman at Night by Carolyn Bruner and the pictures are by Mark Bruner. And this is a scholastic book. So I'm ready to begin reading Dr. McLeod whenever you are. Are you ready? I'm ready. So one, two, three, all eyes on me. One, two, eyes on you. One, two, eyes on me. We're ready. So snowmen at night. You see that? That's a very nice picture. That's what a snowman looks like before we put the head on the snowman. One wintry day, I made a snowman very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. Look at that snowman. It's very nicely decorated. Well, his hat had slipped and his arms drooped down. He really looked fright. It made me start to wonder, what does snowmen do at night? That's a question. I wonder what they do at night. I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark. Off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They look like they're having fun. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others. Sipping cups of ice cold cocoa made by snowman mothers. Ice cold cocoa? You drink ice cold cocoa, Dr. McLeod? No, but I'm not a snowman. <laughs> I'm going to follow that one up. <laughs> then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. Snowman race? Snowman race. Hmm. After everyone had a, has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go over to the pond to do skating tricks on ice. Well, I'm afraid to ask you any more questions, but have you ever been ice skating? Yes, I've been ice skating. Can you ice skate? Yes. Really well? Pretty good. You seem like you're light on your toes. Sometimes, they start giggling, and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they all fall down. Now, can I just say this? That one snowman in that picture, he's laying on the ground and he's doing like this. Do you know what he's doing? He's making a snowman angel. A snowman angel. Have you ever made it? Well, I've I don't seen know. it on Have TV. You Have you? <laughs> Okay. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. Hmm. And they're playing baseball with snowballs in a broom. Have, have, have you ever made a snowball? No. 
we, we're going to have to work on that, Dr. McLeod. Have you ever eaten a snowball? Okay, okay. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight. With snowmen throwing snowballs into the world's best snowball fight. There's nothing better than a snowball fight. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. So, have you ever been sleigh riding? Dr. McLeod, we're gonna have to work on that. We're, we're gonna we're gonna work on that. Uh, sleigh riding is fun, especially down a hill, down a slope, and if you can make it back up the slope. Wahoo! They yell. This is by far the snowman's biggest thrill. It is really thrilling. Finally, they tuckered out and getting sleepy. So they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. They're, they're tired, it's been a long night. And I believe the sun is coming up too. So something else may happen. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do all night. So we found out what snowmen do at night, Dr. McLeod. That's right. And so the crooked smile, I believe, is as a result of the sun coming up and it warming up and the snowman begins to match because it's not cold enough. And so this is the temperatures of about 20 to 30 degrees where snowmen survive. And I love 20 to 30 degree weather. What about you? <laughs> or zero degrees Celsius. So Dr. McLeod, thank you for joining us this evening. And I hope that our viewers are having a wonderful holiday break. I hope that they're engaging themselves positively and I hope they're enjoying family, but more importantly, I hope that they're finding time to relax. What do you think, Dr. McLeod? I hope so too. And I hope someone sends the holiday ferry to clean up my office. <laughs> so, so thank you to our Sumter community for watching us. And we hope that you've enjoyed Snowmen at Night. Thank you for watching and have a great holiday. Thank you, Dr. McLeod. Frosty the snowman. <laughs>